We see every day uh, young African Americans being wrongfully accused or you know put in situations where we're we're being harmed. This is bigger than basketball. This is bigger than us. We were all like at home separately, like doing our own thing, and we kind of got together and decided that as a team we wanted to do something. We didn't know what exactly we were gonna do. I think it was uh, Coach Joe who came to me. He's like, "What do you think about you know?" maybe possibly designing a shirt or whatever for the, uh, um, for the protest. And I jumped at that opportunity. You, you might be able to like, do shirts and wear the shirts. And then that's when we pushed that idea of maybe we should make shirts. So I kind of volunteered to make the logo for the shirt. It's right up my alley. Like I love doing art like as a like off court thing. I was thinking putting like our names on the shirt and making it like a basketball team thing. Mm -hmm. But then again, that's when I thought, maybe it's about everybody else. Maybe it's not about us. So that's where I decided to put um, all the victim victims' names in the WF logo and have that little touch of like, this is for you guys, this is not for us. This is the one that we uh, ultimately decided on doing. Coach Forbes has been like really adamant on, you know, allowing us to use our voices, uh, especially being like young um, black males and with all that's going on today. We went to a protest uh, downtown where we, you know, we sat in with a bunch of other people get together and just, you know, raise awareness about um, police brutality and uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. So initially I think that the plan was just to wear it for the protest, but I think we're going to uh, extend this, like this would be something that we'll wear in season. We intend on wearing the shirts like throughout the season. Nice to like make art that speaks louder than my words could ever do. You know, art is something that I've always loved to do, like since a kid. It was probably like probably my first passion before basketball, actually. Yeah, art for me is like my off court passion. And it's really nice to have that other outlet that I can go back to and just be like, okay, I'm in my zone and I'm here, I can be calm, tamed, and like express myself.